Hey, you know the UK and US government's support for Israel is a giant scam, right? It's a way of taking your money as a taxpayer and putting it into a politician's pocket, right? It's a scam, and I'm going to show you how, and it might be obvious to some of you, but for some, this might be a way of getting around the idea in your head that the situation in Israel is complicated, that that there are nuances, that there are problems here with uh, you know, coming out against Israel or pro-Palestine, that this is something you don't want to tread in. But perhaps you will understand it when you see how it affects your pocket, your income and your well-being. So, using my state-of-the-art CGI graphics, you can see your tax goes to your government. They give a huge chunk of it to Israel, billions and billions of dollars, right? So, what Israel do with it that you might consider benign is to their, uh, to their citizens. They give free health care, free education, sadly, a bit of genocide funding, a bit of illegal settlement funding, a bit of occupation funding. But that's actually not the scam. That's immoral, but that's not the scam. Except, of course, that you're not getting free health care. You're not getting free education. Okay, you're paying for all of that. But... This is where the scam happens, right? Is a huge part of that money goes from the Israeli government to the American Israeli PAC, the political PAC, which then lobbies. And who do how do they lobby? They provide funding to your congressman, to your president, to your representatives to help them get reelected so that they will use your tax to go to and it's a beautifully self-fulfilling uh cycle. Similarly, the anti uh, the Anti Defamation League, which is just another Zionist organization, offers protection to your congressmen, your representatives, your president, um, against anybody like me telling them what a bunch of arseholes they are uh, for providing funding to Israel to promote genocide and all of these other things, because that allows them to call us anti Semitic. Uh, and cancel us on that basis. And then finally, and this is where the big one is, right? When you fund Israel, what you're really funding is the military industrial complex, the place where they buy all their arms to carry out their genocide of the Palestinians. And what does the military industrial complex do with that money? They lobby your congressman to spend more money on the military industrial complex to make the military bigger, right? And so all of your representatives, or many of them, are directly benefiting. And, and this is without even taking into account those politicians' interests in these businesses, the shares they own, the way in which they profit from insider trading, which you all know they do constantly. Nancy Pelosi, I'm looking at you. So this is a scam to benefit these people. How do you benefit from it? How do you benefit from it? And the scam continues, right? Because you pay your tax to your government, who then spend the biggest. And I'm talking about the United States, but when you combine it with the UK, the United States spends more per year on its military than the next 26 countries combined, 24 of whom are allies of the United States. So they take this enormous amount of money and you might say, well, hold on. They employ people. They do a lot of good things, right? Our soldiers, this is good for young men and women. Yeah, okay. So they provide health care to their soldiers, uh, to, to their personnel. They provide education. They teach them skills. Those are good things. Of course, it comes with a lot of risk. You are the guys out there facing the IEDs, the bombs, the snipers uh, from the so-called baddies when you get deployed all over the world. To And then let's look at what they do or more actively don't do for the veterans who make up a huge section of your homeless communities in both the US and UK. So we think, okay, well, look, the military's doing a pretty good thing here, it gets a bit shitty down the bottom there, but, but this is good. They're employing lots of people. That's good, isn't it? Yeah, but that's a tiny proportion of what the military use that money for. What they do mostly with it is they buy weapons, they buy planes, boats, weapons, right? 
all of those feed the profits of the military industrial complex that we talked about before who give that money back to your representatives. Beautiful circle. Your money ends up back with your representatives and ends up in the share dividends received by the people who own Raytheon and Lockheed Martin and all the weapons companies. They not you. Have you got shares in Raytheon? Have you got shares in Lockheed Martin? Are you profiting? Are you getting dividends from what your government is doing? Guarantee some of these guys are, right? This is the scam. They also use the influence uh, of United States bases scattered all over the world, some 200 of them in a whole bunch of different countries, who then support your government by lobbying for more economic interest. Similarly, what does most of the American military do and the UK military? They protect the United States' economic interests. And those economic interests then lobby the government for more protection. In other words, these economic interests, which are not your economic interests, these are not companies and entities in which you have shares and from which you receive dividends. No, it's from which these guys receive shares and dividends and lobby money and campaign contributions. So the whole military industrial complex under the guise of making keeping America strong and great and influential is actually just a giant scam. And you can put you can substitute here the pharmaceutical industry, right? Easily. They take your money to develop a vaccine which they then sell back to you. And they use their profits for share buybacks and dividends and they lobby the government with that money. So these guys here are taking your money and found a beautiful way of getting it back into their pockets, not to your benefit. But they'll tell you it's to your benefit. It, they'll tell you that it benefits America to have this giant uh um, military presence and and strength. They won't tell you that the Pentagon has never passed uh, an audit because nobody knows what they do with all that fucking money, your money. Well, mostly they spend it here to the benefit of the 1% and the shareholders and they get it back to here. It's a scam. It's a scam. So if you want to stop this, you have to get the money out of politics. You have to find a way of conveying to your representatives that the role of big business, of big pharma, of big military, of APAC, of all of these right wing organized or all organized right and left. Right. Because Martin Sorrell uses this the same way on the left. It, it's not a partisan issue in that sense. What has to happen in order for your interests to be properly pursued so that you get the free health care and free education that the Israelis are currently enjoying on your dime, the whole money and politics thing needs to change. And you need to convey that message so that when somebody stands for election, they're standing using the money of the people, not the corporations, the people that support them, the people whose interests they serve, not some fucking faceless corporate entity that is interested only in one thing, profit, profit, profit. Make sure that these guys, your representatives, are there representing you and your interests, because currently they're not. They're just a giant scam.